Today we want to help you understand how to pick a power supply. At Gap Supply we offer a wide variety of power supplies for all of your different LED lighting installation needs. We have industrial power supplies, we have constant current power supplies, we have magnetic dimmable power supplies, and we also even have waterproof power supplies. Each power supply has its place within an installation. For example, on large installations, you could use an industrial size power supply such as this 360 watt power supply. This particular one here converts either 110 or 220 volts AC down to 12 volts DC. Uh, and for large installations, you can use multiple strips. Uh, with this particular power supply, you're going to need to provide a whip that would have your line, your load, and your neutral uh, that comes from your 110 or your 120 power, um, even up to, two, to 220. And then you're going to have three terminals for positive and three terminals for negative that go out to your low voltage lighting. Typically, this power supply um, is not going to be good for locations where uh, noise may be a slight issue, as it does have an internal fan, so you may hear that fan just slightly. Your next power supply, and the most uh, popular and most common, is going to be your constant current power supplies, um, which are similar to your industrial power supply, they just are stepped down in size. So we have 96 watts uh, all the way down to 12 watt power supplies. These power supplies are all compatible to dim on the low voltage side of your installation. So that would include um, any of the inputs that are 12 to 24 volts DC on the dimmers. So that would be the easy dimmer, the wireless dimmer, uh, the touch dimmers, your dimmer modules, and so forth. Then we have our magnetic dimmable power supplies. We offer these in different sizes as well. Anywhere from 20 watts, such as the small one that you see here, um, all the way up to 150 watts like this one is here. With these, you're going to be dimming on the 110 side. So you can use your compatible uh, magnetic dimmers such as Lutron, which we have a list of on the website. And you'll have your 110 dimming power coming into this and then the low voltage wire coming out. Uh, with these, you can either use a BX connector to, to knock out the half inch knockout and then use a, a plug-in whip and plug it into a power supply or a power source that perhaps you already have maybe up inside of your cabinet. The other option too then would be to actually hard pipe right into this. So perhaps you have a basement or a dedicated area where you're going to be mounting all of your power supplies for your installation. With these power supplies, it's very important to remember that you cannot dim on the low voltage side uh, as these will not work in that application. Another important thing to remember is that you want to stay within 80% uh, of maximum on this power supply, but then you also don't want to be more than 20 or 50 percent uh, below its maximum load. So for example, this is a 20 watt power supply, so you want to have at least 10 watts of LED lights running on it, but you would not want to exceed more than about 18 watts uh, of LED lights on it. So, so you leave yourself a little bit of a buffer. On the waterproof power supplies, these are also constant current, similar to these power supplies here. But with these, you have a whip that comes off the end, so you can either wire nut on into your installation, uh, an additional power source, or if you have this going into an electrical box, or you can put a plug on the end and plug this uh, into an outlet. The other side you'll notice, and each one is slightly different, um, is it has uh, two leads coming out of it. And that's because th this particular power supply is broken down into two sections. Uh, so for example, if this is a 100 watt power supply, you're going to have each of these leads is capable of handling 50 watts. You can also tie them together and uh, get your full 100 watts out of it. And we have these ranging from 60 watts all the way up to 150 watts. This is great for any type of landscape application. If you have exterior sign lighting, um, if you have uh, deck lighting, uh, different applications where moisture or water is going to be an issue. Perhaps even in a kitchen installation, if you want to use this under the sink, uh, rating wise it would be rated uh, perfectly for that. Um, you'll notice that with the wide variety of power supplies that you can complete your installation successfully 